Let these words evoke in you a desire, wild as fire, a need irreplaceable, a passion aggressive and insatiable, a lust for loose lips that drip words in multiples so freely, so frequent, and so hot that you will want them to stop running, but keep coming and coming and coming. People, let these words get in you. Touch every nerve and sinew. Let them send you, hurl into, worlds renewed. Serve you with a verse from the food of truth. Shelter and clothe you. Wash over you. Clean you. Redeem you. Take you deep to them parts of yourself you've never been to. Thought you might never find ever seen in your lifetime. Get to go to. And then embrace. Let them enfold you. Hold you. Mold you and control you. Let them forever remind your spirit, mind, and body from head to toe that I, Ben's one, told you to be reassured and to make no mistake that you can respect and take these words or you can reject and hate these words but you will never ever be able to forget or forsake these words neglect or shake these words dissect or break these words are oh, composed in phonetic code not verse so such attempts will only serve to recreate these words even now as I speak, they see deep into your subconscious, judging from form to form like the universe is vast, ah, oh, free, free as the unseen seed that freely grows, free as the unseen energy that freely flows, free as the, free as the very breath flowing from your nose, free as the unseen force of spiritual law that controls them, steal you, let them heal you, let them elevate your soul. These words of sustenance pinned for empty bowls, let them fill you up, warm you up, give you goosebumps, curl your tongue, let them itch, let them scratch you, annoy you, open your clothes, let them crush right through your veins, brother, like our ancestors' walls, let them in, let them under your skin, into your flesh, into your bones, let them get to you, let them infect you, let them kill you, resurrect and rebuild you, my friend, these words used to raise space with the dead, and they still do, let them will you, fulfill you, distill you, through you, chew with the blistering cold of their winter nights, singe you in the hot heat of their blazing sun, I can see people you to feel these words. Digest these words, deep inside your chest, conceal these words, breathe these words, and I speak these words, be repeat with these words, or so even in sleep, even in sleep you can repeat these words. <laughs> I believe every soul across the globe should know these words, so I go tell these words, go sell these words, go through and repel hell with these words, and here now, at my launch party, they dwell, like the tenacious scent of nature's purest herbs. Sean, tell me, can you smell these words? Can you? Permeating, like the, like the sweet fragrance from Egyptian oils, pressed from precious flowers, cultivated on Egyptian soil, just lingering. People, dip your fingers in and hold these words. Never let go of these words. Always uphold these words. Never shun these words or run from these words instead. Chase these words. Come face these words. Come taste these words. Grafted from years of tears and pain. Crafted on behalf of the slain. And all those still here in this struggle to maintain. And as many walk these cold streets begging for change. Women that think they're not already begging for change. They are begging for change. And we know they make two claim me and say, because I'm, I'm here right now doing the same. So come take these words. Before it's too late for words, assimilate these words, articulate these words, appreciate these words, perpetuate these words. And Brother Courtney, if the day should come when men entertain these words, shame these words, change, rearrange, or strain ourselves up against these words, my friend, until the end, defend these words. And when my physical can no longer contain, comprehend, explain, or ascend these words, remember these words. These lyrics, etched into the very depths of your spirit, forever living, lest we will never forget they exist, we can never resist their rhythm. Hauntingly beautiful, they will be heard. Until then, I'll keep giving, and giving, and giving, 